plants will actually change the way that they grow and behave and look based on the environmental conditions and physical things that happen to them. Let's talk about it. Take this for example. This is a green Tradescantia that normally when it's grown in proper conditions where it's getting a lot of sunlight, it'll actually be upright and it'll be full and the stems and leaves will be a lot thicker and prettier in my opinion. But this was in my house all winter in a really dark spot. And so it got kind of leggy and long and droopy looking. But whenever I get this back into the right conditions, it's gonna look a lot nicer. Or I'm sure that a lot of you have maybe seen a succulent plant that started off as nice and short and compact when you bought it. And then when it goes into your house, it starts stretching out and getting really long and what we call exfoliated. Now that exfoliation happens because that plant is not getting enough light. And so what it's doing is it's stretching out and looking for light. And we'll see a lot of different plants do that when they're in not proper light conditions, they will actually make these longer stems. And this happens in nature because if that plant were to have germinated or grown and then all of a sudden it's got competition around it from other plants, it needs to try to shoot up first to be able to find the light that it needs in order to photosynthesize and actually produce the sugars that it needs to keep itself alive. Another thing that we'll see is if you have a plant that is a shade loving plant and you plant it in too much sun, oftentimes what they will do is the new leaves that they grow will be much smaller than the original leaves that it had because what it's trying to do is reduce the amount of surface area that the sun is hitting because the sun is burning it essentially and giving it too much light. And so you'll see shade loving plants with little tiny leaves when they're getting too much sun. Another example are different types of what we consider weeds in our lawn grass, such as dandelions or poa annua. And whenever these weeds are cut together with the lawn grass, oftentimes they first started off being really tall and vigorous, but after they get mowed a couple of times, they realize that growing upward is just going to cost them energy because as they grow upward and continually get chopped off, that is reducing the amount of energy that they're able to produce. And so what do they do? They start growing outward and they start hugging the ground a little bit lower. And that allows them to avoid the blades and be able to save that energy in their leaves and be able to not waste energy that's going up and getting chopped. So if you have a type of plant and that plant doesn't look like the same as what you bought it from the nursery or it doesn't look like the catalog, most likely there's something environmentally going on that is keeping that plant from growing to the normal capacity that it should be growing into. In other words, your plant is trying to tell you something and you ought to make those corrections to its environment in order to get it to grow the way that it should look. 